to be able to be in a position that he's in because very few players have that opportunity. So it's his decision. This is obviously his passion. But he's making a colossal mistake. Uh, I look at him because when you look at baseball, you've got to take a couple things, baseball and football. Health is number one. There's just no doubt about it when you put yourself in harm's way as you play football and you play that position quarterback. And I know the rules have changed. When you talk about money and long-term career, baseball by far over football. The average career in football is four years, three and a half years. That's the average. A lot of guys, you know, get a cup of coffee and a sweet roll, and and they move on. Uh, The other part is there's not a built-in excuse for baseball. It doesn't matter what, what size you are or anything. It's just about your ability. There's all kinds of roadblocks that are already thrown up, and no matter what happens, if he struggles, it's always going to be about something else. And, and the, the elephant in the room is that the height part. But, but we'll get into that later on. There were three football players who also played baseball who talked about this decision. Deion Sanders, uh, um, Brian Jordan, and uh, w- Wilson. I mean, uh, Russell, Russell, Wilson. Russell Wilson in Seattle. All three said if they were in this situation, they would all take baseball. Which, which was shocking to me. Why Even did D- Russell play football then? Because he couldn't hit. He tried it. He couldn't hit. And, most, and that's, the, that's the, under, the other part. I get why he wants to uh, take a look at football from this standpoint. Baseball is really, really hard. You got to go to a minor league. You got to work your way up and make it, no matter what you've done before. Football, from this standpoint, he was the best uh, college football quarterback as a Heisman Trophy winner. So when you look at that kind of success, you go, wow, I'll be able to transfer that over and make that next step. So I understand why he would pick that. He's had way more success, even though it's only one year as a starter in college football. He he won the biggest award you can win. But I think long term, he's going to have to buck the odds. And the height issue is just something that won't go away. It's going to be the reason why teams don't take him despite the numbers that he put up. So I think it's an uphill battle for him. And I think long-term, when the Oakland A's draft you in the top 10, he would, he's, if he's drafted in the first round in football, he'll be the first player ever to be drafted in the, in the first round in baseball and football, which is saying something when you think about how long these games have been going on and how talented you have to be for someone to pick you. So... While I understand why he did it, I think that baseball long-term would be better, health-wise, career-wise, money-wise, and there is no excuse on why he can't make it in baseball due to any kind of physical attributes. I completely disagree. Completely disagree. Um, I think he's making the right move, choosing football. For one reason, outright, he has an opportunity to make money right now. When you look at these college players, and I I wasn't in a position collegiately where I was a dual sport athlete. In high school I was, but I didn't have this option of baseball or basketball and football. He does. Very few athletes get that opportunity and have that luxury. But with him having that, you have to go with what you feel you are best suited for and where you're most passionate, period. And when you've spent all your career and all your blood, sweat, and tears into baseball and and football collegiately, and you've been playing just to get drafted and get to this point, you want to get your bang for your buck right away. You want to make sure that I make my mark not only in that arena professionally, but monetarily I want to be accommodated for right away. I don't want to have to gruel and grind and and work my way up and then make sure that longevity is is locked in money, monetarily wise, later in my career, which that's the process with baseball. Football, and everyone's talking about his height. Throw the height out. Throw the height out because when you look at his height, yeah, is is he short on the shorter end? Of course. But when you look at the rules of football, four quarterbacks, everyone's talking about his height and is he going to be durable. The rules lean towards quarterbacks like this now because they're protecting them. 
he's not going to have to get that body weight driven down with defensive linemen and all defenders coming down on him with extra body weight because it's outruled now. And then when I look at the, the statistics, the NFL snaps, 62% of NFL snaps were out of shotgun. 37% of NFL snaps are under center. So we're making it seem like this height is this big ordeal because is he going to be able to see the middle of the field? Is he going to be able to see over the offense, the defensive line? Yes, because more the entire National Football League or over half the time is in shotgun. In shotgun, I want you to understand, everyone talks about being under center, dropping back, and creating that separation from the offensive line to the the top of your drop. He doesn't have to concern himself with that if he gets in the right situation. And I think it's phenomenal that he can potentially be the first player ever, to your point, that's ever been drafted. It's incredible. In the first round in in both. both, both sports. Unbelievable. I'm with Greg on this. I knew Rob would go with the baseball. Baseball can do no wrong. In your no, it's not I get about, it. It's your, it's it's your love. It's, 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 it's totally about, about that. that. But, no, it's not. But it's let, not. Look, you were just, I'm with Greg, and he should do what he's passionate about. He said it himself. He was interviewed by Deion Sanders recently, and he said all along, football was his passion. Football's in his heart. And so he's doing the right thing in that regard. You're wrong about the finances because he's actually better off financially because he's a quarterback going to the NFL. If he's drafted in the first round, now that's an if, but if he's drafted and a lot of people are projecting him not only to be a first rounder, but maybe top half could, of that first round. Absolutely. All, the, all, the, all the top 10 drafts I've seen, he's not in it. Well, it's and they're just take, start. And they're, just taking, start. and they're taking other quarterbacks ahead he's, of them. A lot of people are saying he's the second quarterback. Maybe Dwayne Haskins. Right. 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 After Dwayne Haskins. Who was the Heisman Trophy winner? Was it him or Dwayne Haskins? No, it was look, him. nobody goes by we the Heisman. We understand that. Okay. Nobody just, goes. I'm, nobody throw out the Heisman. Okay. That's not what pro people look at when they talk about a great quarterback. Dwayne Haskins is right now viewed as Why? number one. He's viewed as number two. Okay. Why is that? Because he's more of a passer. It, and because he's more prototypical right. looking. Okay. okay, that's that's the but elephant that's in not, the room. No, that's not the elephant. It he, is. Look, financially, if he's drafted in the first round, he got $4.5 million from the A's. He, that's all the significant money he was going to get for the next five to seven years in baseball. If he's a first rounder, Lamar Jackson was the last player in the first round pick last year. He got a $5 million signing bonus. He got a seven and a half million dollar contract, and likely if they pick up the, the fifth year, it would over after his first four years, it'd be about ten million he would make. Then he could be op, op, open for these big contracts. There's also a lot of uh, non guaranteed money that a lot. No, of guys it's all never guaranteed. I'm talking first, about when you Lamar get Jackson's is all guaranteed. Okay, but you're talking okay. about ten. And million. now you see quarterbacks are getting guaranteed contracts they, now. Yep. You saw so, one quarterback no, get fully guaranteed. So look, so first of all, if he's drafted in the first round. He's going to get anywhere from twice as much as he would have gotten baseball for the first seven years to seven times as much money in football. So secondly, if he's an average starting quarterback in the NFL, he's going to make the kind of money that he can only make in baseball as an all-star. That's that's the facts. He has to be a perennial all-star in baseball to make quarterback money in the NFL. So financially, it's better for, long for, term, for the NFL. No, no. Health-wise, well, you're right. But health-wise and long-term, I'm talking about long-term. He could you get can play three ba- deals. You could play baseball for a longer time. Baseball players There's make no, no longer months. Not make than month. quarterbacks. Yes. We're talking even about quarterbacks, quarterbacks. Even quarterbacks. A handful of baseball you, but players. But you don't know what kind of baseball he's a top Ten we don't pick. know. We no, don't but I'm know. telling we you. We don't know. No. He's had more success in football <laughs> in college you, than baseball. I get that. But so I'm we don't know you, what kind of baseball player But they player drafted he is. him as a, was, as a top ten pick. I'm that saying, means what? That means that, that means that they believe that he has that potential. I'm not saying. How many people have they believed that about him? But we can say that in the NFL. Right. A lot of, and you did say it about the NFL. We don't know which one he's going to be But I'm telling you, as a top ten pick, they didn't give him $4 million. I'm just saying he has a better chance. Because they like him. He has a better chance of being average in the NFL than spectacular in baseball. Based on what? That's what base, 
based on based what? Based on reality. No, it, based that's on true what? for anybody. Who says that? But it's, based it's, on what? You always have an easier chance to be I don't solid. I know a lot of quarterbacks who have been great players in college who failed. Yes. A ton. It's the same in baseball. I know, but you're either asking sport, like it's automatic. He could, he could fail in either sport. That's this all is, I'm saying. This is, this is what I believe you're missing, Rob. You're saying that because he was drafted in baseball by the Oakland A's top first round, it's they obviously believe in his ability. We haven't seen him. Dra- he hasn't had the opportunity to be drafted in football yet. We don't know where he's going to go. He could potentially go top 10. He, they, the, the, he Raiders, the Raiders are at four. The Giants are at six. Jags at seven. The Giants Broncos, have already said that they're not. No, they didn't say they're not going to draft right. him. They question his height, just like everybody else. That has nothing to do with, are we going to take him? But if, if it's the a height line, doesn't matter. Listen, why, why what would nobody saying it doesn't listen, listen to what okay, I'm that's, saying. That's my point. In, in football, in sport, in all of sport, what we have to understand is they're going to label you with something to devalue you. That is their job. It is then the player's job to strip that, to eliminate that. To make you forget about what you told me I could not do, i.e. Russell Wilson, i.e. Baker Mayfield, i.e. Drew Brees. These guys were all labeled. I.e. Johnny Manziel, i.e. Tim Tebow. Yeah, you can go through the list. You're gonna look at Tim Tebow. We can hold on. You you compare. You got the nerve to compare Tim Tebow to Kyler Murray? No, we we can look at all players. We can look at all the players that have had success and all the players that have had failures. There are going to be more that fail than have success. Why? In because both sports. In, in, in life. In life. So you, you're, not, you're not making some great point by pointing out all the guys who fail because it takes a lot to exceed. Did but to Chris's point, what he's saying and what we're trying to share and impart in you is that making this football decision, if number one, he's passionate about it, you can't question no, that. No, but I, didn't qu- I never questioned that. I said that he obviously followed his passion. But if you're asking me and, and in talking and seeing, we had Brian Jordan on our radio show who was a football and baseball player. And I'm just, I'm, I'm surprised that Deion Sanders, who's a Hall of Fame football player at that level, said if he could, if he could do it over again and play baseball. Do you want to know why? Do you want to know why? No, I know. Do you want to know why most players that have chosen something else say, I, man, I wish I would have, because they didn't do it. Like, it's, it's just like myself. In college, I had the opportunity to play basketball at Western Michigan University. I didn't do it. You don't think there's days that I feel like, man, I, I should have tested it out. I but you made it to the NFL. Ex- you won a Super Bowl. Dion made it to the NFL. No, he I know. Was a, he but was this an all-pro. After the fact, I'm just he, saying. Well, after but, the fact, because he felt like he could have potentially experienced something that he never really pursued greatly, like he did football. But you, can, he would, if it was flipped... If he played baseball, I, I guarantee you, I can assure you, he would say, man, I wish I would have experienced football. Right. Great.